Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kid Lit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review Caution. This book contains Deadly Reptiles by Cory Tutt with art by Ben Williams. So this book was sent to me for review by Alan and Unwin, so thank you very much to them for the review title. I had the best time reading this kids nonfiction book all about the reptiles that you find around Australia. And I particularly love this title for this book because yes, we have a lot of deadly reptiles here in Australia as people around the world like to find out. And in this case, the word deadly has a different meaning. And Corey Tutt does talk about why he uses the word deadly to describe these animals, because yes, a lot of them are dangerous animals, but they're also really cool when you get to know a little bit more about them. The other thing that's really amazing about this particular nonfiction book is it's broken up into different places around Australia and the reptiles that you can expect to find there. So there is an AXS map included in the book. So this outlines all the different indigenous groups from Australia. And as you can see, there are many of them. And throughout the book, it's broken up into those different places and we learn place names. We also learn the traditional names for these animals where known. There is a discussion around how a lot of the indigenous languages are lost or sleeping because we just don't have traditional speakers for them anymore. And what we're seeing now is a lot of people working towards trying to find as many of these names as they can so that they can be stored on record because we've lost a lot of them. And that's an incredibly sad thing. So I love seeing the work that is going into finding these names and to documenting them and making them available for people to learn. And I'm gonna apologize because I totally struggle with pronunciation. And one of the things that I deeply, deeply loved is that when we are in a different part, I would say this is Gamilaroi country, which is in New South Wales. There is a pronunciation guide for the place, which I deeply appreciate because it's helping me to learn more as well. So each section starts off with the country that we're on, some information about that country, a reminder to acknowledge and pay respects to the elders of the country. And then we get into all of the reptiles that you might find on this country and we have the traditional names. Then it has the English name and information about the animal. And the thing that I love particularly about this nonfiction text is we get one to two pages per animal, depending on what it is. But the way that it has been written, it has incredible voice. It's really fun and engaging to read. It has a description. It has what makes it deadly. So what makes it cool? Foods, predators and prey. How does it breed? It does have whether it's endangered, if it's of least concern, if it's venomous or not. Sometimes there is information about the name because on a lot of countries, the name for different types of turtles or different types of lizards, might they might all share the same indigenous name, but they might have different English names. Some animals get a double page spread, but all of it was so interesting. Like I thought it would take me a couple of days to read through all of the information because nonfiction always does. I couldn't put this book down once I started it. I was just so engrossed in finding out about all of the animals. A lot of them that I knew, some of them that I didn't. I learned a lot of facts about reptiles. I know, I know so many kids who love reptiles and I think this is just one of the most interesting, unique and engaging books about reptiles that I have ever read. So while there is a lot of text on page, it's broken up into really manageable chunks for kids to read. I think this would make an amazing mentor text for teaching, like writing an information report or creating an information poster about any kind of animal or anything. I think pulling apart how Cory Tutt has written it is a really great resource in the classroom, but also you can just enjoy it as a reader of nonfiction because I think this is absolutely something adults can enjoy as well. I mean, I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, there is also a glossary at the back of the book and all of these words are highlighted throughout the text. So if there's a technical scientific term, that is used. It's been highlighted within the text here and then you know to find it at the back of the book. It's such a wonderful book. I really thoroughly, thoroughly loved exploring it. The end papers with all the reptiles, I think Ben Williams illustrations and artwork throughout the book depicting all of the animals were so beautiful. I'm not a snake person at all, but I loved looking at the illustrations of them and seeing the differences and learning a little bit more about them because we know all of the common ones and because I live in the southeast, so it was nice to learn about the reptiles from other parts of Australia that maybe I'm less familiar with. Absolutely love this. I think it's great. I hope that people will pick it up and explore it because it was just such a good read. So thank you again to the publisher for sending me the review title. I'm really, 
thrilled that I had the chance to pick it up. In the description I'll leave links to where you can find out more information about the book, the author and the artist. I'd love to know if you're planning on picking it up or if you've read any of Cory Tutt's other work. He does incredible work in the space of First Nations nonfiction for kids. If you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment feel free to leave any kind of reptile emoji down below. Otherwise I hope wherever you're on the world you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.